Nearly three and a half years after Sean Monterosa was shot and killed by a Vallejo police officer tonight, the California Department of Justice says the officer involved will not face criminal charges. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Ama Dace. The DOJ report was released today. ABC 7 News reporter Melanie Woodrow has been following this story since it began and is in the newsroom now with the very latest. Melanie? Dan and Amma, the AG's office took over this case in May of 2021 after Solano County District Attorney Krishna Abrams recused herself from the case. Monterosa's family had a meeting with the AG and others today. They were brought there not knowing the outcome of this case or the investigation and then told on the spot. In June of 2020, Vallejo police officer Jarrett Tan shot and killed Monterosa from the back seat of an unmarked police vehicle firing through the windshield. Monterosa was outside of Walgreens where there had been a looting in the wake of George Floyd's killing. At the time, police said Monterosa had been running towards a car but suddenly stopped taking a kneeling position and that as he raised his hands, he revealed something in his sweatshirt pocket. It turned out to be a hammer. According to the AG's office, there was insufficient evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the officer did not act in self-defense or in defense of his partner officers. This afternoon, I spoke with the attorney for the Monterosa family. It is extremely disappointing that they've decided not to move forward with criminal charges. We believe that there is more than sufficient evidence, uh, not only in our civil case that runs along parallel lines, but enough evidence to bring criminal charges against Jared Tan and uh, we're looking forward uh, to a review at the federal level. The AG's office also found that there was insufficient evidence to bring charges for the destruction of evidence in this case, the vehicle's damaged windshield, which had been discarded by police. By text this afternoon, Michelle Monterosa, Sean's sister, told me that she was disappointed, but that she would not stop fighting. In the newsroom for the IT, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News. All right, Melanie, thank you.